Hi, I'm astrologer and life coach Penny Dix. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to another of my short heads up videos. This one is for the sign of Pisces. My lovely oceans of emotions, my fishes. And it's for the sun in Pisces or for the rising sign also known as the ascendant. Pisces, how are you doing? I think you need a little bit bigger pond to swim in, to flex your fins a bit, to stretch out a bit, to just let your gills breathe in the oxygen from the water in a better way. So whilst I continue to lax lyrical, I'll try and see what's going on in your chart. So, okay, let's actually start with the fact that you have got Jupiter, our planet of expansion, opportunity and luck, has moved back into Pisces, into your sign. And it's widely conjunct Neptune. Now, Jupiter and Neptune rule Pisces. Neptune, as you well know, is about your psychic abilities. It's about that wonderful intuition of yours. It's also, it can be where we can deceive ourselves as well. So because energies are kind of neutral, we have to look at what else is going on that either helps or gets in the way of that. Is this expansive Jupiter expanding a kind of negative impact of Neptune where you don't see things clearly? Or is it expanding the positive, intuitive aspect? of Neptune. So let's let's have a look because Mars is now in Gemini. Mars, our god of action, energy, war, fighting, arguments, it's in Gemini in your fourth house and it started to go retrograde. Now it's making a square which is a hard aspect to both Jupiter and Neptune in your sign. I think this has you making some tough decisions over the next two to three months until Mars goes direct when they will have all been made. Mars goes direct on about the, I think it's the 10th to the 12th of January. But you will be making tough decisions which are important for you about your personal space and it may be that others at home don't like the decisions you're making. Because I think that Saturn now directing your 12th, which is that part of you that is about that inner you. You know, Pisces, the 12th house is actually your house. You're the ruler of the 12th house. So you've got kind of like double Pisces here. We've got Pisces in the first, but we've also got that shadow of Pisces in the 12th and Mars in the fourth retrograde is making a trine aspect to Saturn in the 12th. I think this sees you setting clearer boundaries for yourself with your family. I think you have, it, you know, it's interesting because Saturn is going to move into your sign and it's almost as if you're preparing for that now on an unconscious level because Saturn is moving into Pisces next year and it will really help you set firmer boundaries which are really going to help you in your personal life and with your family life and with your business life. What I haven't looked at yet is the full total lunar eclipse, full moon, total lunar eclipse in Taurus in your third house and that's on the eighth. Now because that brings in the energy of Scorpio which is your ninth house of travel, the third house is more about the local neighborhood. I think you're going to be making decisions about travel and I think you're going to be making decisions about travel further afield. You might even think of moving with this energy here. That's quite possible. This energy will affect 
you Pisces for the next six months. So it's not that you're going to move out on the 8th of November. Some of you might, who knows? We don't know. But it sees you setting, you are going to be setting clearer boundaries. Now, I think you really need space to breathe. Pluto, transformative Pluto, also now going direct, is in the sector of your chart Capricorn, which is to do with your, your wishes, your dreams, the visions that you have for your future maybe for the future of the planet. And Pluto is making a very helpful, it's like this, it's a sextile. And that's to both Jupiter and Neptune in your sign. And so you are gonna have some great ideas that are starting to sort of, I think the seeds of them are kind of being given birth to um, at this time. And you need to give yourself the space to develop them. Maybe you need to create a space in your home, even though the rest of the family are around, that you haven't had before. So it's like it's your space, your cave, your place, where you can really attend to what you need to attend to. So Pisces, um, interesting energy for you. And now we come to that rather exciting part of your reading, where we do the tarot and we see if we have a, a kind of an appropriate tarot card that kind of represents your reading. What are we going to get? Oh, I think it's this one down here. It's poking out. So I never know what's gonna come up. Are you gonna be pleased with this or not? Oh yes, this is perfect. This is absolutely what I've just been saying. This is what you're supposed to be doing. And don't freak out, this is not bad. This is the Eight of Swords. This is where you are feeling restricted. You feel kind of hemmed in. This is that Mars in the fourth. You just, you wanna break out. Now, what you have to realize with this is none of the swords are touching the figure. It's a feminine figure. This could also represent, you know, if you're, if you're a man, even if you're a woman, whatever you are, this is your feminine side. You need to set the feminine free. You need to set that, set that kind of feminine energy, which has a much more kind of gentle touch, that yin energy. These are very yang, these swords at the back, but they're not touching this figure. These restrictions are of her own making. You need to think, Pisces, what restrictions have you put on yourself that really don't need to be there? You're gonna get lots of lessons in that when Saturn moves into your sign next year. You don't need to start practicing now because Saturn will give you the tools at the right time to get that straight. So, on that note, I will leave you to ponder upon all of that, my lovely oceans of emotions, Pisces, and say thank you so much to joining me for your November astrology and tarot card. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.